what up, what up, what up, YouTube, what up to the people that's watching this, hey, what's up, man, today, man, I'm making this video, I'm finna come with another story time, oh, man, what up, I'm just laid up in the bed, man, <laughs> y'all like, man, it's a weird ass video, right, <laughs> like, bro, it's late as fuck, bro, and I'm laid in my bed, bro, <laughs> Like, for real, though. Like, damn. I'm chilling, man. I'm high right now. What up, man? What up to my new subscribers, man? Drop some comments down, man. Uh, I seen that. Y'all watch... Um, If you watched my uh video about um the story time I made about smoking weed in high school with my friends, y'all let me know in the comments. And let me know if y'all want to see more story times like this, man. For real. <laughs> uh, Today... The story time. Let me see what story time should I make this about. I think I'm, I'm going to tell you the story time about when I went to the mental hospital. I remember that time, man. That happened like in 2016. Uh, how it happened was... I don't know if y'all ever heard of that thing called fake weed. It's like K2. It's like fake Kush. People were smoking. It's like it's like a drug that kills people. Um, back in the days, people were smoking that. And I remember I used to smoke because I had some friends. You know what I mean? And we used to get high off of that stuff. Don't smoke that stuff, man. Smoke the real weed. And yeah, man, I remember one time I went to the store. I bought a bag of Kush for like $20, $15, and I was smoking it, and it got me sick, you know what I'm saying, I started throwing up, um, I got sick for like two months off of that stuff, and I remember I started going crazy, I started hallucinating, I started seeing things, uh, I started like seeing things that weren't there, it just started, it was messing with my mind a lot, you know? I got messed up for like a little bit. And so my mom, she used to get like scared. She used to get scared. She, cause she was like, you know, like when your mom, she just start thinking like, man, is he okay? Is he going to get good? Is, is he thinking all right? You know what I mean? She don't want to get hurt. And I, I used to tell her all the time, man, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. And, uh, yeah, one day, uh, my brother was here and, they called my other brother and they were like, cause I remember, uh, I remember, uh, yeah. Oh yeah. It's yeah. It's yeah. It's my, my brother had game. My mom, she called the police and she was like, can you come, come get my son and take him to the mental hospital? And so I remember, uh, I remember we was all chilling up in the house and you know what I'm saying? The freaking police came, knocked on my door and he was like, He's he walked inside my house and my mom, my brother, they were they were standing right there and I was sitting down in the chair. And he came in, he goes, he goes, Who 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 is it that you want me to take? And she pointed at me, he goes, Come on, get up. And I I was like, What the fuck, bro? I was like thinking in my head. I was like, Hell no, nah, bro. I was like, fuck no. I was like, I, I was like, I cannot believe that I'm finna go to this. And my mom was like, I love you. I was hugging my brother and everything. I was crying. I was like, oh, fuck. I was crying. I was like, damn, I don't want to go to this shit. I was like, fuck. I was like, fuck, no. I was like, oh, man, I'm fucking scared. <laughs> For real, though. I was like, bro, I'm fucking scared, man. I was like, hell no. And, uh, um, because, like, I don't know what the fuck's, I don't know what type of people are in there, you know? Like, fuck no, you know what I mean? You know, a nigga was like, a nigga was like, uh, and they was like, come on, bro, we finna take your ass. And then they, got, they walked me about, I sat up in the car, and when they sat me up in the car, I was like, I was like, mom, I was like, come on, don't, don't, don't send me to this shit. And they was like, they was waving at me, they was like, we love you, we love you. I was like, 
I was like, this is some bullshit. <laughs> and then they drove me off, nigga. Like, the, and then, yeah, like, after that, everything went blank. I forgot, like, what the fuck happened. But all I remember was we was in the um, we was in the freeway, and we was going, like, downtown. That's why, like, I'm not going to tell you where I live at, you know what I mean? Because I don't know where the fuck y'all niggas going to do to me. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're going downtown because I remember I seen, like, a whole bunch of buildings and stuff. And I was like, oh, I, I kind of know where we at. And he pulled up. He pulled into a driveway in one of the big buildings. And he parked in there. And he took me out. And we walked inside this door. Because I seen there was a door right there with stairs going up. Like, it had stairs. And there was a door. And he took me up the stairs. He was holding me from the side with the stairs. And we, walk, and we walked in there. And all of a sudden, they had, like, this front desk. It was a desk. It was a, it was like, like, it was a, a lady a lady and it was a lady sitting there and like it had like all these folders in the back of her and like more doctors like doctors were in there and they had like chairs right here on the side like right when you walk to the door you know sometimes it has chairs right there when you walk to the door it had like three chairs and they were they were holding the folders and they were looking at me looking at me and you know what I mean uh one of they, they took me into this little room they had like a little room right there you know what I mean? And it was like a valuation room, and they were like checking me. Like they put me, they put me in the clothes. They changed my clothes, and they put me like in this this gown. You know, like in the hospitals. And uh, uh, a doctor came in. He goes, "Can you see? Can you talk?" He goes, Any, "He goes, anything wrong with you?" He's asking me all those things, and I was like, "Nothing wrong with me." He goes, why are you here? And I was like, oh, cause I was smoking that that um that that fake weed and I I got messed up in the head and stuff and all that type of stuff. And he goes, all right. So he took me in the back. He goes, I he wanted me to pee inside a cup. So he took me to the restroom, pee inside a cup. And so I peed in the cup. And after that, uh, like I'm gonna be real with y'all, man. Like when I was peeing, a lot of my pee came out of the cup. You know what I mean? Because you got to put your damn... You got to put your dick inside that shit. You know what I mean? I'm going to keep it real with y'all niggas. Yeah, and then... uh, I, I put... I put some water in there a little bit. And I gave it to him. He goes, man... He goes, you put... You peed and put water in here. I was like, yeah, man. I was about to him now. I was like, nah. And then, bruh... He he walked me down this hallway, and they had like the hallway had like two doors. It had like two doors. He opened the two doors, and there was a bunch of crazy people just sitting in chairs, bro. They were all sitting in chairs. They were all just looking at me, bro. Like look, they they looked at me for like a second, and then they just went back to what they were doing. Like they were shaking in the chairs. You know what I mean? Like how crazy people are. They were shaking in the chairs. Some were walking around. You know what I mean? Someone like looking around, you know what I mean? And they were like looking like like they were looking inside their brain and stuff. And and then he walked me to I, I thought I was going to stay there because but he walked me into another room. It was it was like a room that inside that that same room. It was another room connected. So he walked me into that room and there was crazy people in there, too. But they were like they, they look kind of like not normal, but they looked like they were like kind of straight in the head. And there was one, and he goes, and they had more, they had like more doctors in there, like behind, behind, um, behind glass walls, they were sitting in there and they had folders and they had, they had, they had a TV in there. He put me in, he put me in the kids room. Cause at that time I remember I was like, at that time I was like 16 years old. That was when I went there and he put me in, in, in the kids' room and because there was more grown people right there. And, you know what I'm saying? They, they gave me, like, a mat, a, a, a bed, and they gave me a blanket. And uh, and uh, I started, and then he brought me some food. And I was sitting in there eating the food. And then, you know what I'm saying? I was, I was, I was, I was looking outside because I seen, like, a little window in there. And I was looking outside. And I was thinking to myself, I said, man, dude, I said, I said, like, I said, I can't even call my mom. Like, I don't even know where my mom, like, she knows where I'm at. Like, I was like, are they ever going to find me? Like, am I ever going to get the fuck out of here? 
So I walked out of the room because I could walk out of the kids' room. I fucking walked out of there, bro. And and I went to the phone and I tried to call my mom's phone, but nobody picked up. And I was like, fuck, bro. I was like, they left me in here forever, bro. So I started walking around and then I, you know what I fucking did? I went in the restroom and I was thinking to myself, I said, bro, I got to get the fuck out of here, bro. I was like, I got to get out of here. Cause like, I said, cause I like, I was like, man, I'm finna, I'm finna be in this shit forever. So I don't want to be here, bro. So what I did was, uh, I, I ran out of the restroom. I went if I there were, I tried to open the fucking doors, bro, because they had doors that were locked to get out of there. I tried to open them, and the and the, her, her, and the doctors were like, "Hey, hey!" They were like, they have fucking big ass black doctors, bro, like big black ass doctors, bro. I'm talking about like some fucking niggas that were on like, like some freaking tall security guard looking ass niggas, bro. And um, I tried to open the door, bro. They grabbed me, and and like they have, they had to put me on these chairs. And I, I, when they were grabbing me and stuff, I put my neck up in the air, bro. And I try to break my fucking neck, bro. <laughs> I try to break my neck, bro. I try to kill myself. <laughs> like I swear to God, bro. Like I fucking try to kill myself in that, bro. Like that was like, and I remember fucking there was people in there. They were, they were crazy, nigga. Like I was, and then I went back into the kids' room, and everybody seen me. They were looking at me like, what the fuck? Even the crazy people, and. I sat back in there and I was sitting like by the mirror and stuff. And uh, one of the guy, he was rocking back and forth, looking at me like that. Anyway, but his eyes, he was just staring at me like that, bro. And I was like, oh, shit. I was like, fuck, this nigga's scary. <laughs> they had this fucking black guy in there. And he had, he was like really old. He had old hair and stuff and all that type of stuff. And he'll look at me. He'll look at me for like a second and then he'll turn back around. He'll turn around and he'll look at me again. And then he'll turn around and then he'll look at me again. I fucking, I took off, bro. I was gone. I was like, fuck, no. And I remember time, they, they, they were dragging a, a dead body out of there, bro. Because I remember I seen the doctors. They they grabbed like this big ass bag. It was like a big bag. Like you could fit like a body in there. Like it was black and it had handles on it. And they were dragging it out of, of the room. I was like, what the fuck, nigga? I said, there's a dead body in there, bro. I said, oh, hell no. And, yeah, man, like, and after that, man, the, the, that that same night, that stuff, all that happened in, in, like, in the same day, bro. All that stuff that I'm telling y'all, it happened in that same day. It's because the time I went to the mental hospital, it was like, I said, it was like 12 o'clock in the morning. 12 o'clock in the morning. And, uh, uh, how do you say it? It was at nighttime. I freaking, like, during the day, I just got tired and I fell asleep. You know what I mean? I got tired. I fell asleep. I was like, fuck that shit. I'm going to sleep, bro. So I fell asleep. I woke up. Because I remember, I remember the lady was like, hey, wake up, wake up. She goes, wake up, wake up. You about to get out of here. And I was like, what the fuck? And I remember, I remember it was like a freaking dream, nigga. I don't even remember nothing. I was like, what the fuck? I felt like I was in a dream because it was dark. And, like, I, all you could see was, like, the door. And, like, but I couldn't see her face. But I could see her hair and her clothes a little bit. But it was just, like, it was, like, a blur. Like, all I could see was a light. And I couldn't see nothing else. Like, I remember I seen the TV. I had a TV in my room. And I remember the TV light was coming at me, too. And I could see that it was Martin. You know the show Martin? You know Martin Lawrence from Bad Boys? The one Will Smith, that Martin, he was on TV, and I, I remember getting up, and we walked out of that place, and we all got inside this little bus, and we all sat in there, and and, and they were taking us to, to the to the real mental hospital, you know what I mean? Because I was just in the beginning, like like in like where they take you at just to hold you there, to to like to see if they got room at the mental hospital, and they had room, and it was nighttime, and they were taking all of us. To the real mental hospital. Y'all let me know in the comments, man. I'm finna end this right here. Cause already by 15 minutes. I hope y'all like this. I hope y'all like this story time, man. This is a real story, true story. And I wanna let y'all know, man. Drop a like. You know what I mean? Cause that lets me know y'all wanna watch this. And drop a comment in the bottom. Uh let me know if y'all wanna hear 
the rest of if y'all want to hear part two to when I was at the mental hospital, y'all let me know in the comments and go watch my other story times. I got more on my channel. And yeah, man, thanks for watching. It means a lot. I do this for y'all. And let me know if y'all want to hear any other story times too. Thanks for watching. Peace.